the journal, Hudson News Edition. Good evening. There has been another indictment in North Bergen's Department of Public Works scandal. 72-year-old Timothy Grossi, the township's deputy director of public works, was indicted by a state grand jury Monday for allegedly ordering subordinate employees to work on political campaigns and perform personal chores at his home and the homes of others while being paid by the township. Grossi is the fourth person to be indicted in the ongoing investigation. DPW Superintendent James Wiley has already pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit official misconduct for similar charges. In September, DPW Supervisors Troy Brunero and Francis Longo were indicted for allegedly directing employees to do personal chores for Wiley and work on political campaigns. Grossi was charged with eight counts ranging from official misconduct to falsifying or tampering with records. He faces multiple years in prison. In Bergen this morning, the Board of Commissioners voted to pass two ordinances establishing new salary ranges for police officers and township workers. The ordinance is simply a salary ordinance range that got expanded due to a 2% increase that's proposed for January 1st for a group of civilian employees. So at any given time, if somebody's salary exceeds the maximum on a prior ordinance, we need to introduce, introduce a new one with an expanded range, and that is simply what it is. But members of the North Bergen Concerned Citizens Group disagreed. Prior to the passage of the ordinances, Larry Weinstein accused Mayor Nicholas Sacco of using the raises to bribe employees to help cover up the Department of Public Works investigation that has resulted in four arrests including that of Superintendent James Wiley and Deputy Director Timothy Grossi. SAC was giving these raises as hush money because there's a criminal investigation in North Bergen. The salary increases are being used as hush money to impede the criminal investigation and SACO is giving these appointments and raises to silence the police department and others pertaining to this criminal investigation. Before any additional salary increase ordinances are passed, we want an independent audit by the Department of Community Affairs conducted by the state of New Jersey or an investigator conducted by the Attorney General's office into the padded payrolls, no-show jobs, and the hush-up money being given out to township employees. PEs, along with Police Chief Robert Dowd, say the allegations simply make no sense. It's a uh, state law that there has to be salary ranges for the uh, the titles themselves. And every four years, as a result of collective bargaining, the, the various unions, the patrolman union, the supervisors union, they negotiate, and the chief of police negotiates his own contract with the township. So as a result of the negotiations, those uh, salary amounts are published, you know, yearly or every couple of years as the contracts are done. Whatever speeches were given have absolutely nothing to do with the fact that this is just a matter of routine and business and, and, and you know, setting salary guidelines so that the, it's important that the public knows what their officials are paid and what their police department is paid and it should, it should be transparent and it is.